This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performance does not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk and there's always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. This is the JDFN Forex Report. Good afternoon, traders. I'm Scott Norris here with your Forex Report. Today is Monday, June 1st, 2009. Most major currencies are off to a great start this week against the U.S. dollar and Japanese yen. Last week's big finish in these majors and cross pairs set us up for such a move today, and traders did not hesitate to run with it. Stocks around the globe were almost all green, and commodities continue to push higher as well. Many economists here and abroad agree that we are seeing real signs of a recovery underway. Still, there are more than a few skeptics who believe otherwise. We think inflation concerns have at least as much influence on rallying stocks, currencies, and commodities as signs of a recovery do. Whatever the drivers are, they are working well. Today's ISM manufacturing number beat expectations and seemed to garner more attention than the GM bankruptcy filing. If nothing else, this tells us that traders and investors are looking more for reasons to rally than seeking catalysts for a sell-off. We have a big economic calendar in lineup this week, with most top-tier news coming from the U.S. and Australia. The grand finale will consist of U.S. and Canadian jobs reports on Friday morning. The technical picture is clearly one of accelerating dollar selling. A report today suggested that options traders are the most bullish on the euro versus the dollar in almost seven years. This can be looked at in two ways. Some traders say, let's jump on this gravy train and ride it to the last stop. Others believe this indicates a crowded trade and the end is near. Meanwhile, other currencies, including the pound and Aussie, are running like there's no tomorrow. Using Fibonacci extension levels on daily and weekly charts, we find reason to believe there's plenty of room to keep running higher in the weeks and months ahead. Having said that, we must emphasize how important it is to look for pullbacks to enter on. We don't want to chase pairs long after huge rallies or sell short after a massive sell-off. Patience and sound money management are the foundation from which great traders are built. Till tomorrow, have a wonderful night trading. Take care.